okay this is a continuation of a lecture on quantifiers and we look at the properties of quantifiers in duality this is part of first order logic continuation so what are properties of quantifiers so first one we see is there exists x x is a boy or x is a girl is same as there exists x x is a boy or there exists x x is a girl in english you can say there is a boy or a girl same as there is a boy or there is a girl and similarly for for all property we have for all x x is good and x is a student same as for all x x is good and for all x x is a student so that means is everybody is a good student everybody is good and everybody is student and let's look at the negation when you combine negation with a quantifier not for all x boy x it's not everyone is a boy same as there is someone who's not a boy there is just someone x and not a boy x and similarly if you are not there exists it's not a case there exists x x is a king is same as for all x it's not a case x is a king so there is no king compare that with the the there exists x not uh, x king there is someone who is not a king this is not the same as the the bigger sentence out here and what are the properties of quantifiers we have there is x there is a good boy implies there is a good person and there is a boy but the converse is not true there is somebody who is good and there is a boy it doesn't mean the same x is good and uh, same x is a boy because they may be different people and similarly for all for all x everyone is a boy or everyone is a girl doesn't imply implies everybody is a boy or girl but the converse is not true that means everyone is a boy or girl doesn't imply everybody is a boy or everyone is a girl okay so you can try writing these everybody has a parent some people have brothers adam is the father of everyone there is a smallest number there is a there's no largest number for every number there is a larger number you can try out and the solutions you can look it up later thank you